it's uh, it's certainly a, a disappointing occurrence. Uh, anytime uh, someone gets arrested, uh, the, uh, the the indictment itself uh, um, uh, includes some uh, very serious charges that uh, I'm sure will be um, uh, followed up uh, by the court system and and by the press. Uh, we'll uh, you know I'm sure learn as you learn uh, more about uh, what uh, what the charges are. Um, I. I I, I don't know. I'd be more than happy to try to respond to specific questions. Well, I, I understand that, or perhaps you can tell me whether or not Mr. Lindbergh ever approached you or the, uh, the caucus uh, fund seeking to make a donation and whether those donations were rebuffed. Um, my understanding is that uh, the, uh, the Senate caucus has not received uh, any contributions from Mr. Lindbergh. Uh, I have been in less than five meetings that he was present in. Uh, I've not been in any meetings with him, uh, just uh, the two of us, just him and me. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know that I can add any more than that. Did he offer a donation though? And what, did you decline it? He, or he or did not, someone with the caucus fund decline it? I am not aware of him making an offer of, uh, of a contribution. Okay. And did he ever ask for anything? And I, I mean, any sort of I want you to help me do X or Y. And I'll ask that of everybody. Senator Jackson, he had given $5,200 to your campaign. Uh, I'm not sure whether or not that there have been any house uh, money. I'd, I'll have to double check that. Anybody, ever, did, he, did he or any of his associates ever ask anybody for anything? Any of his associates ever ask anybody for anything? Any Thank you, Senator. You're yeah. welcome. Uh, I have never met Mr. Lineberg, uh, never seen him. Uh, in person, never had any correspondence with him. Uh, we were having a dinner one night, and when we went through the checks, there was a check in there. And so that's the only, I have never had any contact with him whatsoever. So there was a fundraiser dinner that that's right. a check appears to have come to him as, as because of that? Yeah, that's okay. right. Do you know if he attended or? No, he did okay. not. It was okay. a small group. Any more questions I have never been not, Travis? Huh? Uh, Sure. I mean, I, sure. I guess uh, it, as we think about, or as we read the indictment yesterday, was there any uh, correspondence with Mr. Lindbergh or his associates as it pertained to uh, Commissioner Causey? Did uh, were either the Speaker of the Senate for example, you reached out to? Did, did, did Mr. I, I, as, as I stand here now, I, I'm not aware of any correspondence. Uh, I've not I've not looked for any, but I'm not aware of any. And we're happy to answer any follow-up questions. I mean, these are questions that we obviously yeah. haven't prepared for. So of course, sure. But if, sure. if you want to send us your questions, we can talk more about it. But well, just well, maybe, Mr. Answer. Speaker, you could just speak to some of these issues. I mean, obviously, it's I mean, did, did was there any money to the House Caucus from him? I, I, I'm not certain on that. I think he may have given to the House Caucus. I'm not. I'm not certain, and I don't know what the amount is. I don't believe I've ever received a contribution from him. Have, have you met him? I have. I've met him on a couple of occasions, and. Uh, nothing of particular interest you know there's I would say this these allegations that were made are very surprising to me and everyone else who just not this is not the kind of thing that you expect to see and that you see happening so I'm very disappointed but you know, the criminal justice process will take care of it. given the nature did he ask for anything in particular not that I recall okay. mr. speaker between this and the North Carolina 9th district do you worry at all about perception of the Republican brand in North Carolina, do you, is that a concern to you going into 2020? Yeah. Anytime you read stories like, like this, you read about the perception of public, I worry about the perception of public service because it's, what I can tell you is that the folks who serve here, frankly in both parties that I deal with, are, are not in it for some sort of personal gain. They're here because they believe in, you know, the issues they espouse and the things they want to do. And so when you, when you see and hear things like this, it's, it's, it's very concerning. But do you worry about how, how voters will see a culture of corruption, if you will, among Republicans if the allegations are true? I, I, think, I, think voter, I think voters are smart enough to know to hold individuals responsible for individual actions. The tenant of one more until proven guilty, of course, so important. But in the best interest of the party, does Chairman Hayes, he stepped down in short order based on what's happened over the last 24 hours. Yeah, I, I, I'll say this, I try not to intervene directly what the, what the party does. It has, it has an apparatus that's there, and so I don't, I don't generally get involved in that. And, and I'll tell you this, I mean, all this is just, I think, for Phil, and I, it caught all of us off guard. I mean, I found out about it when it, when it was in the media. So, uh, 
we're still finding out information just like everyone else. Will you be encouraging any members who receive donations from him to to donate that amount of money back to the state or you know from from the caucus, the party, anything we like that?